now i am going to add a authentication to my application okay so far i have exposed if you go to this service dot cds file so far i have exposed three entities one is a customer's entity orders entity and the products entity okay now what i'm going to do now i'm going to add a uh, authorization okay authentication okay now i'm going to add a authentication to this customer's entity so that if you are a valid user then only you can see this customer's entity fields or the data in a metadata okay once the it's loaded then only you can the if you have a right authorization then only you can able to see that okay how you can add a authorization so far we will get a we will refer the code from in a cap document then we will add a code to our cds file okay here to add a authorization what you have to do in a cds file we need to do a restrict okay cds based authorization at restrict yeah this is what i am looking for at restrict grant rules yeah uh, in an entity see here they have adding a restrict this is at the entity at the cds level okay in a service dot cds file you can add like this and uh, if you want to add in a js file there is a syntax for that too see here in a js also you can add in the uh, you can take a service as a cotlack service then you can add a uh, uh, requires okay within the requires you can add a authorization here fine and the restriction they have added here like admin and everything and you can add it in the annotations also okay for annotations how you can add here means there is one syntax to add in annotations mm, okay yeah this is the syntax to add a authorization in a annotation file okay now i am going to add in a cds file in the service dot cds file for that what i need to do just i'm going to add a authorization here at restrict restrict open an array bracket inside an array it should be an object okay here there are two options we need to give one is a grant okay so far i will be giving a start if you see this if you see this cap a document i will show you which template i am referring is in adding authorization in a cds file uh, yeah this is not the one at restrict here yeah here if you see for this orders entity they have added a restrict they have given a grant access to read for the user auditor okay to whom the auditor and here if you see in the reviews entity they have given read and write if you want to give all the access you should give as a star like this like this okay grant star to customers they have given all the access to the customers to give all the access you should to give star to whom i am going to give this to manager 
okay manager i'm going to give this and one more i'm going to give a only read access to whom to associate okay simply we will give, we will be keeping like a manager role and a associate role okay right these are all the two things uh, roles we have created for the manager and the associate okay now we will reload we will open the application the serious watch is running so that i will open the application now and i am going to open a customers entity once i click on this customers you could see it's asking for a username and password okay so far we have added a restrictions it will ask like this okay whether you are a valid user or not it will check if you give the username and password and click on sign in then only it will go and show the data okay like this only you can add a restrictions uh, for now i will create a temporary user in a package.json file but ideally how it will be acting means in a real time project those securities related those those access uia related components will be maintained in a access security.json file we will create that file while deploying and the mta.yaml file as well while building and deploying application to the cloud foundry uh, we will move those restrictions those access uia components to the access security.json file okay we will do that later but for now what i will do first i will do a dummy user i will create a dummy user where i can create a dummy user means i can create it in a package or json file okay once i open this package or json file inside this request what you have to do you should create a dummy user there is a few lines of code to create this i will write this code and we will see that okay development it's in a development authorization path it's kind of kind is marked okay so that we have marked this so that i'm using a marked and here users who are all the users we will create a user list first okay to create a user list manager at sap.com okay this is the user for this user i'm going to add a password what is the password just i'm adding a password as a b c d 123 okay this is the password fine and the roles you need to add the roles is a important thing you need to add a roles you need to map uh, i will tell you which role you need to map okay while creating a restriction in the service.cds file you have given a role to whom you have given the access right this is the role okay you need to map this role for this i am taking this manager role and i am putting into here fine okay the similar way you need to add one more user as well this is associate at sap.com password is 
जीरो नाइन एट सेवन सिक्स फाइव जीरो नाइन एट सेवन सिक्स फाइव जीरो टू फाइव एंड हियर द रोल इज असोसिएट रोल ओके सो फर वी हैव एडेड अ डमी यूजर एंड द अथोरिजेशन इज मार्क्ड so that it will access the data like here from here okay now i'm clicking on this cancel if you click on this cancel it will show as unauthorized obviously it will show unauthorized only okay now what you need to do now i'm reloading this Once I click on this customers and I give the username and password, I am taking this manager at sap. dot com as a username and the password is this one. Click on sign in. It will show. All the records now. Okay, what are all the records that will be available? It will show all the records. Okay, like this you can able to restrict this customer's entity. Okay. Now I open this UI application. Orders and products entity. You can see anything, so that we have not added any restrictions. Uh, for customers entity by the cookies, it has been going to okay, fine. And if you add, if you want to add an authorization for other entities as well, you should uh, rewrite this code the same code, and you can give the authorization and the restriction by your own wish. Okay. This is how you can add a restriction at the customers at the entity. Sorry, not at the customers at the entity level. Okay, and this is the one thing I need to show to you. And um, the other thing, yeah. Now, so far we have seen many things, right? And the one quick thing is we have added a debugger and we have added a validation and we have added a side effects authorization. Also, is fine. Okay. 